Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and another super cool Cards of the Universe and Everything video. Okay, this has been a viewer requested uh, deck. This is a Barnstorming Aviation League deck. So we are going to put together a deck based around this Barnstorming card. So let's have a look. There is the deck on the left as always. So there we are, the Barnstorming card. This is a limited legendary, quite difficult to get. But we built the whole deck around this card. So let's have a look to see what it does. Uh, on the draw, your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, gain plus 15 until play. So we're obviously going to fill this deck up with awesome aviation cards. On the play, this is cool. The card opposite loses minus 50 this turn. Absolutely awesome and not quite so good. On the return, your remaining awesome aviation cards in hand lose minus five permanently. Well, we've got loads of aviation buff cards in there, so I'm not too worried about losing that five permanently, although it's not the greatest thing. Okay, so let's move on. Let's have a look at the next card in this deck. Like I said, this is loads of aviation cards. In fact, I think we've got four, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 aviation cards, I think. So this one is the Charles Lindeberg. Uh, on the draw, if you're losing the round, your cards in hand gain plus 35 this turn. Pretty awesome, seven for 54, and he is a limited epic. And then a pair of cards here, the Montgolfier Balloon. On the return, your right, fly, right flyer, I should say, card, wherever it is, costs minus four until played. And on the play, whoop, let's just go back to that card. On the play, uh, your right fly card in hand gains plus 72 this turn. Absolutely awesome. So obviously we've paired it up with the right flyer card. And let's have a look at that right flyer card now. There we go. Uh, it's a fusion card, this one. Quite easy to make. 8 for 72. On the play, if it's the first turn of a round, gain plus 5 this turn. And don't forget, you want to try and pair that up with that Molfgolia balloon and get that awesome, awesome buff on that one. Okay, moving on, another cool card. We've got Bessie Coleman. Uh, on the return, if you lost the turn, your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 until played. So if you lose, you're going to get 20 extra on the aviation ones. Another cool card. This is only a rare limited, but it's awesome. Uh, the Night Witch is 4 for 88. The only downside, this card loses 44 until played. Uh, so you get 88, then 44, then 88. So not too bad because uh, it's on the return. So that's the Night Witches. So we try and get that one round two or three times at least. And then Amelia Earhart. What a cool card this one is. It's a legendary fusion ingredient and you're going to gain eight power permanently when you play Amelia. Nice card. And it is also an awesome aviation card. This one needs no introduction. Air Force One. That President's Plane, I do believe. Uh, 6 for 60, legendary only card. On the return, your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, cost minus 2 until play. So that's going to help us with our energy. And the next card up is, interesting card this one. It's Sonic Boom. There we go, Sonic Boom. On the play, uh, your opponent's brilliant human body and super structured cards in hand cost plus 2 for 2 turns. Well, that's a bit of potluck whether they've got any of those cards. Uh, but on the return, your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, are going to gain plus eight permanently. So you're going to get back uh, what you lose from barnstorming, plus a little bit more with the sonic boom. That's why I don't mind that barnstorming card so much. And then I've gone with another pair of cards. These two cards should go together as well nicely. It's Zeppelin and Hydrogen. Zeppelin, if your deck on the draw, I should say, if your deck contains Hydrogen, this card gains eight power permanently. On the play, if played next to Hydrogen, so we want to try and play them together, this card gains plus 12 permanently. And on the return, if you have played Hydrogen this game, this card gains another 20 permanently. So according to me, every time you play those two cards together, Zeppelin is going to get 40 permanently on top of that 60. So it's going to power up pretty quickly. Cool card. Uh, as I said, you need to play that with this card, Hydrogen. And on the play, your Oxygen card, which we don't have in this deck, uh, your oxygen card in hand gains plus 30 permanently. But I put hydrogen in obviously to pair it up with that Zeppelin because we're going to get some super awesome power. On to a few more aviation cards now. The next one is the Wright Brothers. It's just a rare card, uh, but it's a super powerful card. 8 for 70, and on the draw, your science cards in hand gain plus 10 until played. Well, we've only got three non science cards, so that's awesome. As it is, Boeing 747. 
cool plane that one i've been on it a few times 747 747 oh, i just noticed that uh and on the play awesome aviation cars in hand game plus 10 at this turn that's pretty good so another awesome aviations card and then the next one is the red arrows again i've seen these guys they're absolutely awesome display team uh, what does it do? 6 for 53 on the draw. Your cards in hand gain plus 5 this turn. And if you're not losing the round, your cards in hand gain an extra 7 this turn. So pretty useful. But like I said, he's also going to get those aviation buffs. And talking about aviation buffs, here we go with some of the cards that are going to really buff up our aviation cards. So the first one is a space card, the Galileo Satellite System. What does it do? On the play, you're riding the waves, which you don't have any, and your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, gain plus 25 until played. Absolutely awesome. And like I said, I think we've got 13 aviation cards, so all of them are going to get that plus 25. So mega, mega bonus power from the Galileo satellite. And the next one that's going to buff up our awesome aviation cards is the Barrelii, or the Barrelii. The barrel eye, yeah, the barrel eye, the barrel eye. Of course, it's the barrel eye. Nice picture. Uh, on the play, your awesome aviation and burst cars, wherever they are, gain plus 17 until play. Let's not talk about burst, let's concentrate on awesome aviation. And then again, another card that's going to buff up our aviation cards is the Aviator Sunglasses. Absolutely cool. I remember these from the 80s. I don't know if you can still buy them, actually. Somebody let me know if you can. But on the play, the card opposite, this loses minus 10 power this turn. And your awesome aviation cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until play. So another card that's going to really buff up those awesome aviation cards. And then the final card, and this card is absolutely fun to play. It's DB Cooper. I hope you know the story about DB Cooper. The great hijacker stole all that money and jumped out of a plane. Anyhow, on the draw, this card locks this round. And on the play, for every awesome aviation card played by either player, up to a maximum of 18, this card gains plus 10. So in my theory, it should gain 130 for our aviation cards if we've played them all. Um, and depending if our opponent's got any. And then on the return, your money, 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 must be honey. <laughs> uh, cards wherever they are gain plus 20 until played anyhow that is our barn storming aviation deck i think i should have called it the db cooper deck actually that would have been a little bit more uh inspiring i guess but anyhow this is a good deck and it, to be honest it's pretty easy i know there's one difficult card which is probably barn storming um but it's fairly easy to build look at those stats there three common two rare six epic six legendary one fusion uh, and that fusion is pretty easy so those limited ledge uh, or those legendaries there's only a couple of limited legends in there in fact maybe only one so dead easy deck to build uh, and that's the card breakdown we've got one space one history 15 science and one oceans and seas okay let's go and see how this does in the arena so let's go for it we are dad of the goat and we will play whoever fancies a game let's go uh, make sure we got the right deck yep so we're rank one two shields at the moment not too bad let's see if we can get that up to three tres shields one of those tres so barnstorming aviation deck will be playing against go into the game doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see who our opponent is we will be playing against well we'll be playing in the space arena against Panji Kekot. Hello, Panji Kekot. Nice to meet you. Never, never met you before, I don't think. Anyhow, let's get on with this aviation deck. As you can see, there is an aviation boost. That's pretty handy on round four. I'm just going to start off with two cars because energy is a little bit tight. But we'll be okay. Trust me with this one. There we go. That's why. Hmm interesting an aviation deck haven't seen that for a while maybe panji and db cooper's locking himself up there's that barnstorm and let's get him round with charles maybe or maybe the red arrows and av yeah, that looks good 188 oh what is he playing is this a bird deck oh no i thought birds were finished i thought the birds had died okay let's see how aviation does against bird man-made planes against nature planes 
I guess aviation against aviation maybe. At 87 in the lead. Let's have a look. There's that Zeppelin. So we're going to hold that until we get that hydrogen card, hopefully. So let's just go with these three cards, which is not much choice. Two, four, three. Ooh, just squeeze through there. That's one nil to us. We got seven left in our energy, so that's not too bad. Uh, there's only 14 energy a turn. And it was quite low starting power this week, so let's see what happens. So next arena is the paleontology. Let's see how his birds, the birds do power up really well actually. So let's see how good that is. Now there's that satellite, that's great. And DB Cooper's unlocked, he's got 70 buff there, 300 points. Oh, we might be a little bit behind here. 282, no, we're just in front. Okay, I thought he was gonna get a bit more than that. So we are nine points in front. We've got the right flyer and Zeppelin. So we need to get one of those cards that pair up with either of them. Ah, oh, there we go, there's the balloon. So let's go right flyer, balloon, and maybe Barrelite or Hydrogen. No, we want to keep Hydrogen, don't we? Yeah, so Barrelite. 400, that's nice. And the early flight combo. If you haven't played that one, there you go. Right flyer and Montgolfier balloon. Whoa, nice score. We're still now about 10 points in the lead. This is close game. This is close game. 12 in the lead. We've got Zeppelin and Hydrogen. They're going to pair up nicely. Let's get that buff built up on Zeppelin. Ah, that's good. So let's have a look. So Zeppelin, 165 already. That's nice. Hydrogen, that's good. And maybe the Wright Brothers, 380. Come on. Oh, he's going to get some big buffs here. We're going to lose this, I think. Yeah. Well, play Panji and your lovely little birds. 5-2-3, good score. Okay, we're 1-0. Sorry, we're 1-1. One, one. We're not 1-0 one, down. It's 1-1. One, one. We won the first round. I'm lucky we've got that aviation bonus. That's coming up. So if we can win this one, I think it could be game over. So let's see what we can do here. Let's have a look. A nice buff from the red arrows. You can see these cards are already getting super powerful. Look at that, 306 on two cards. And a 183, 489, even against your little birdies. We are going to be in a commanding position here. 240, 268, and Charles, 288. 288 against 489, so 201 points in front. That is awesome. Okay, let's really go for it. And we get that energy save in there. That's really good. And another buff, that's great. This is really cool, this aviation deck, by the way. I love it. Uh, especially when you've got the arena boost. But even without the arena boost, you can see it is a super powerful deck. 408 and the 201, he's going to struggle. Ooh, 494, I was going to say he's going to struggle to catch up. He has made some ground up and he can get a big score. We're 115 in the lead and we really want to win this. We've got Boeing 747 in our hand. We should try and get that Boeing 747 to 747 points. That would be a challenge. Uh, the satellite is quite handy, but should we just go with the points instead? I think four, five, six. Oh, we're just about going to do that. I almost played the satellite there, but that was a good move because I thought right at the last minute, Aviation Arena's next. We don't really need the satellite boost. We can save that. So we are now 2-1 up and I'm feeling very confident here. I think we're going to kill your birds. Sorry about that, Panji. Uh, DB Cooper's locking up, so we've got the right flyer and the balloon, 444 on those two. Uh, aviators, 501 or Galileo, what do you reckon? Let's go with that, 501, a good dance score that is. 501, no, 180. 483 against his 281. So let's see if we can get, hopefully we should get, if I remember right, we should get Zeppelin and Hydrogen now. Um, yep, there we go. Zeppelin, Hydrogen, only one aviation card though, but that doesn't really matter. Let's get that one out with it. I think 330, not the highest score, but we should get three aviation cards now after this, which will give us a big, big finish. Let's have a look. Oh, good score but we should still be just about in front. He's gonna get a boost from that Egyptian. I think we're, oh, are we just in front? 
This is close. Oh no, we're four points behind. Well played, Panji. Okay, we could do it with three aviation cars now. I'm thinking we'll get Charles, Barnstorm in, and Bessie, something like that. No, totally wrong. <laughs> we got Barnstorm in. I got one right. Uh, so let's just get those three out. Look at that, 691. What a score. Come on, you little birdie. Take that. And the minus 50 from Barnstorming. And the crowd are going mad. Thank you, kids. <laughs> yes, good game. Well played, Panji. Great deck. Nice to see the aviations destroying the birds. Like I said, even without that arena bonus, we would have probably won that game. But that's the aviation deck. Dead easy to build, actually. So have fun making that one. Uh, it's really good fun to play as well. Anyhow, thanks for watching. We'll be back very shortly with a load more videos. Check out the Ice Age video coming up. That Ice Age video, absolutely spectacular. But in the meantime, have fun. Take care, everybody. And we will see you all soon. Bye.